Ben, what is the working principle of artificial intelligence? So currently the driving engine behind what people call AI is really machine learning. And that means we do need to collect large amounts of data, annotated data, that we can then use to do something that we call supervised learning, which allows us to take input data with the task that we want to solve and try to find that mapping between the input data and the task or the problem that we want to solve. How are you applying this principle to the field of medical scans? So in medical imaging, it's important to understand the exact problem and the domain. So we first of all actually need to become also a little bit of a medical expert and need to talk to the clinical experts so really to understand uh, what the clinical problem is that we are trying to solve. Then we need to understand the data. Medical data is quite different from, from other data, for instance, data that allows us to recognize cats and dogs in images. So we really need to become uh, also a little bit of an expert in, the, in understanding the data and understanding the constraints we have in medical imaging, which are different to other applications. What is the level that you've reached and how can you take it further? So we see in some domains that we do reach human level performance. There are certain tasks that we can do better with the machine, more efficiently for sure, but also in terms of accuracy. In order to get beyond that, we need to think about what actually is the data that we train on. First of all, it might not be the best idea to always train on human annotated data because that will introduce the errors and the biases and all the problems that humans have in, in annotating data. So we need to think beyond that. We can maybe synthesize data directly for the task that we want to solve. And we also have to think about ways to incorporate all the knowledge that is useful for solving the application, not just images, for instance. In medical imaging, we need to take into account demographics, lifestyle, genetics, health records.